Since our last video on the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program, which we posted one year ago, there have been numerous developments in the NGAD program. Big developments are happening as the various elements of the NGAD program get closer to fruition. Let's get up to speed on what's been going on with the NGAD program. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. Before we proceed with today's video, we want to avoid confusion. NGAD is a program that encompasses two components. The first component is a sixth generation manned stealth fighter aircraft, which the NGAD program and name are most commonly associated with. The second component of the NGAD program encompasses a loyal wingman drone, known as the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, and will complement the manned NGAD fighter. The manned fighter component of the NGAD program will be the subject of this video. On January 29, 2022, a high-resolution satellite image taken by Planet Labs over Area 51 showed an exotic delta-shaped aircraft under an unenclosed skeleton-like structure just sitting in the middle of the apron. Many have suspected that this mysterious aircraft was the full-scale prototype aircraft that had already been built and flown which Will Roper, the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition Technology and Logistics, had revealed to the press in September 2020. At the Air Warfare Symposium in March 2023, U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said the service is planning to field 200 NGAD fighters and 1,000 CCAs, a nominal quantity officials said will serve as a first tranche, but still the first estimate to be shared. He also suggested an arrangement for the high-tech team, each fighter flying with a pair of autonomous wingmen. This figure was derived from an assumed two CCAs per 200 NGAD platforms and an additional two for each of 300 F-35s for a total of 1,000. He stated at the time that the CCA may enter service before the NGAD fighter. To learn more about the CCA component of the NGAD program, see our video titled, NGAD's Loyal Wingman. After toying with the idea of two versions of the NGAD fighter, one shorter range version for the European theater and one longer range version for the Pacific theater, the US Air Force shelved that idea as too expensive and Frank Kendall confirmed in May 2023 that there will only be one version of the NGAD fighter. Only one company will be chosen next year as the overall designer and developer of the next generation air dominance crude fighter, despite years of prototype work on different designs by several companies, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said on May 22, 2023. Kendall added that there will be ongoing competition to supply NGAD systems after an overall winner is picked, but the original NGAD concept of rolling competitions, producing a series of incrementally better platforms, is too costly, he revealed. We're not going to do two NGADs. We're only going to do one, Kendall said at a meeting of the Defense Writers Group in Washington, D.C. The U.S. Air Force released a classified solicitation for NGAD engineering and manufacturing development proposals on May 18, 2023, saying a winner will be selected in 2024, but few new details of the highly classified program were released beyond that. Kendall said NGAD and CCA will be developed in parallel, but he declined to say when a contract award for the CCA program might be awarded. Northrop Grumman has once again incorporated what seems to be its notional next-generation air dominance crude platform concept into its latest advertisements posted in April and May of 2023. This follows another ad from November 2021 that teased the same design, although that ad didn't offer a wide-angle view of it. We hope you enjoyed this update on the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program. We are eagerly looking forward to learning more in the near future. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment to help this channel grow, and thanks for watching.